Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next Bly Reaction video, Legends of Chima Season 1, Foxtrot. Hmm. Well, that could be about anything, but uh, I'll be interested to see and find out, so... Rawr. In last week's episode, the gorillas went insane and tried to take out the crocs, and it was kind of difficult, especially when Gregor attempted to kill the all, so... Oh. But hopefully, uh, this episode will be better, so... Rawr. So, time for our next adventure in the world of Chiba in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... Chiba, a magical world of untamed nature, beauty, and wonder. Yes, it is. It's also quite dangerous, too. From the <laughs> mysterious Mount Kavora, the Chi Falls provide life, harmony, and power to the animals who inhabit the land. But the precious Chi orbs are objects of desire, and the animals have become divided. These are the legends of Chiba. Foxtrot. Okay. <laughs> it was like, whatever that means. <laughs> but we'll find out. Uh oh. Uh, speed Wars again, eh? Uh oh. Oh, it's him. Race? Oh, I don't know if I should. Okay. <laughs> but okay. Hey. Oh my gosh! Look out! Ow. Oh dear. Oop. Uh oh. Fire! Fire! Red attack! It's an ambush! Oh! Wow. <laughs> Whoa. He just went up the side of a cliff! I think he can take care of himself. <laughs> Ow. Capture. Go, go shadow wind. Yo. <laughs> well, that was easy. How could you miss him? How come the only one captured is me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, brother. You'll destroy them all. You just need to take a deep breath. Uh, 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 not again. Poor guy. Oh dear. Um, oops. <laughs> oops. Sorry. If we don't stop this shadow in there is no way anyone in Shima will ever win a speedo race again. <sighs> My brother tried, but failed, as usual. Not surprising <laughs> since he couldn't even beat a bunch of monkeys in his own swamp. We don't disagree with you, Crueler. We're just a little confused. Hmm. Why are you here? Isn't hmm. it obvious? I can't count on Gregor to get anything done. Uh -oh. I need you wolves to disrupt the upcoming speedo races and steal all the chi in the lion's temple. Huh? Uh, what? Oh, and did I ever show you this amazing yep. plant I found in the swamp? Uh -oh. Get that thing away! I hate plants! <laughs> How can you Drat. hate plants? I just do! Now what about <laughs> Gregor? Uh, we'll tell him about our plan eventually. Hmm. But this is too important to risk having him mess it up again. Hmm. Uh, all right, talk it over. <laughs> well, I'm not sure we can help you betray your brother like this, Crueler. Ooh, what? Don't really? Don't tell me you will suddenly have morals. No, but it's just years ago during our alpha troubles. Uh oh. Wolves were scavengers back then, oh. always fighting amongst themselves to be the tribe's alpha male. Oh dear. The crocodile King Crominus. Your father saved us. Oh. He taught us to live and fight as one. For this, oh. we gave him the Pledge of the Pack, promising oh. to forever assist the King of the Crocs. Oh. For better or worse, Krager is king. The Pledge still binds us. Hmm. You mean this Pledge? Oh, uh-oh. You help me, 
I'll destroy it, freeing you from any future obligations. Oh. What do you say? Huh? Agreed. Oh. But we'll need oh. some help with this. Someone who's really good at causing trouble. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit, so wait a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Nope. <laughs> I know what it's to be. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey! I don't think that would draw anyone's attention at all! <laughs> hey! That's my special gizmo gacker! What are you doing with it? What? Huh? How'd that get here? And what happened to my weapon? Dude, you bummed my groovy gooper. A thief? <laughs> well, at least we are safe, my friend. The thief's code. It says we don't steal from each other. Really? Hey, some thief stole our thief's code! <laughs> I was just sleeping. I don't know how that got there. Hmm. Oh, dear. Keep your eye on those apes. I hear they're gonna get back at you by putting banana skins all over the track to make it super slippery. Mm. Really? And I heard the bears are gonna coat the track with honey to make it super sticky. Mm. No way, dude. That's so bogus. I knew they were up to something. Oh. Rumor has it the beavers are fixing the ramps so they'll win. And where'd you hear that? A very reliable source. Hmm. This race is rigged! These cheetahs are not your friend, my friend. Dude, they tried stealing my gear. Why not the whole contest? Something stinks about this race. And it's not just me. Hmm. Oh, this makes me sad. Cool. Should be a fun race then. <laughs> uh, you're not worried? Nah, it's all good, bro. What if I were to tell you... Uh, the eagles are, uh... Do you mean Eris? Don't tell me she's cheating, too. She's perfect. Really? Well, I heard she has a crush on you. She does? I mm. knew it. Didn't I tell you? This is so incredible. I can't wait to tell her I love her, too. Whoa! Hold on. This is a secret crush. You need to keep it quiet. Hmm. Okay, I get it. Shh. Just okay. keep us safe in the race. Oh, don't worry. I'll crush anyone who tries to crush my crush. Nice. <laughs> I'm counting on that. Oh. <laughs> it's getting complicated. <laughs> Rogan, is something wrong with your eye? No. Welcome, I... citizens of Chima, uh... to the monthly race for the Golden Chee. <laughs> it's been a month already? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> he keeps making these weird faces at me. Hmm. Oh. I think he may like you. What? What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, come on, Laval. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Even Laval and Eris are freaking out. This race is gonna be bad. I better prepare. Bring over the beehives with the extra sticky honey. Hmm. I totally need banana skins, dudes. <laughs> oh, this isn't going to be any fun. <laughs> All the riders are ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. And... Boom. Go! Hitting the track with Ooh. unexpected fury and force. <laughs> oh, bananas. Banana peels. Boom. It looks like the rulers are true. This race will be a dirty one. Look out. Oh, no. Oh. Let's try to keep this at least a little fair. 
<laughs> no chance of that. Bye. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, Shadow Wind's here. Ooh, nice save. Shadow Wind. It's time we cancel this race, don't you? <laughs> Look, the fans are furious. The race is in chaos. Everyone's distracted. The oh. perfect time to raid the Lion's Temple and steal all of the chi. Oh, is that all? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, referee, don't you see that they're cheating? Do something. Made it through easy. Yo, that was cool. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Ow. We'll put that rock there. Yes, it is. You saw that coming. Why didn't you say anything? There's a carrot. <laughs> Not a lot to talk. I forgot. You don't speak. Bummer. Ow. <laughs> Try to win the race too. And the winner is Shadow End. Yo. Again. Not that anyone seems to be paying attention. No. <laughs> Where did they get those I cords? Can't stand that eagle announcer. And you look just like him. No, I don't. Crawl off, scale face. We would have won if you didn't slip us your slippy skins. Honey, do you? I mean, do. That's in the rounds. Well, fix you. Oh dear. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Congratulations, Shadow Wind. But we must dispense with the usual ceremonies today. Here, Golden G, use it well, wisely, and so forth. <laughs> Long to get every lion out here to stop this crowd before they destroy everything. <laughs> it's like, uh, here's a cheek goodbye. We gotta go uh, deal with the crowd. Bye. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Now's our chance. Follow me. Dear. Cooler? Where are you going? It's not safe here. Are those wolves chasing you? <laughs> Aw, it's nice to know that he cares, though. <laughs> Move them outside, away from the fort. We must protect our temple. Mm. This is too easy. It's Grab like speaking of. And let's get out of here. Dear. <laughs> yeah. yeah! But are you sure you're okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, he is. Uh oh. When you have this much G, not even lion walls are a problem. Uh oh. Oh dear. Huh? Huh? Again! <laughs> Do it again! Fire! Oh, okay. Cooler? What was that? I heard it too, Dad. Don't worry, I'll check it out. Eris? <laughs> Could you come with me? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> we'll split the spoils once you've destroyed the pledge of the pack. Crueler? What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh you're, you're here. <laughs> What's all this about destroying the pledge of the pack? Oh, um, <laughs> this will make you feel better. No, it won't. And how come every time we talk, you wave some ugly plant in my face? Uh, uh oh, busted. I love you, brother. What? No, you. Look, we've got to go now. No one's going anywhere. 
Brother, please. We're about to steal all the chi in Chima. Don't ruin it. For once! No one steals chi without me! Fight! Mm. Right, retreat into the temple! Lock it down! Now! Retreat! Get back here! Oh. This is a sad day for Chima. Yes, it, it is. It may be the last time we have a Chi Day race for a very long time. Bummer. So long as that pledge exists, we'll still serve Crocs. It's as good as gone, Cragger. And I'm willing to play a little loose with the rules just this once. Oh. Just this once? You always play loose with the rules. Perhaps. But the fact is, there's three of us now, and one of you, and we've already cheated up. Correction, there's two of us. Crueler? What? Crueler? What? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm winning, for a change. What? Mm. Let's get this over with quickly. Oh dear. Oh. Hey, what's the rush? Hmm. Uh, I'll handle Laval and Krager. You two take Hornface and the bird. Oh. Hey, no one touches my love. Huh? What's he talking about? He means Eris, not me. Yeah, that would. No. Still kind of weird. Ow. Bye. Ow. <laughs> I never expected to be fighting with you. Hey, I never expected to find you stopping a cheeky. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what I was doing. Yeah, right. Stopping a cheat thief. Oh. For, uh, Chima! <laughs> yeah, I got for Chima! Chima. Roar. Roar. Let's go get him! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Now you've done it. <laughs> uh. Uh. They're too strong with that chi! Hmm. Let's try that move we used to do when we were kids. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Mm. Take cover. Look out. Run. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, Getting away. Now you count. <laughs> oh. It's raining G. Ah. Oh dear. Cragger, what are you doing? Uh oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, what a choice. <laughs> oh no! Roar. Whoa! Nice. Why, sister? Why? into the gorge of eternal depth you shall be free of service to our tribe your father king chromatus perished here mm. it's only fitting that the pledge rests with him mm. oh <laughs> I destroyed my father's pledge and betrayed my own brother all in the same day. No. Oh. You made the tough calls. We all appreciate that. Yeah, but I don't know. It feels like like victory. Yeah, victory. Hmm. It's like, could she be developing a conscience? Hmm. It's like, what's her problem? But oh well, oh, we got she, so yes. I could have stopped them. I... 
It's okay, Lavelle. You made the right choice, saving Tracker. Yo. But I'm afraid our rhino friend may not heal so quickly. Aww. Oh, no. What is it? What's he saying? <laughs> he says he wants a kiss. Oh. For me? Yep. It's a dying rhino's request. <laughs> Whoa. I suppose you could refuse it if you wanted to, but... No, no. I'll, uh, I'll kiss him. <laughs> Aww. That's nice. Yay! <laughs> she loves me too! What? I thought you were really hurt! No, no, I'm not! She <laughs> just healed me! Yay! <laughs> Erg! I'm gonna get you for this! <laughs> Aw, well, that was. As always, thank you to hard work people working so hard on the show. I was gonna say that they're actually not dead, so it's like, mm, oh dear, this is not good. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, so. Ooh. <laughs> Ugh, gonna have to think about this one a little bit, so. <laughs> So that was Foxtrot, and oh man! <laughs> oh, there was a lot going on in this episode. I mean, almost in a way, Foxtrot doesn't really begin to describe this episode. I figure, oh, it's gonna involve a fox, but and it does. But oh my gosh, it involved so much more than that. So yeah, they bring in the fox to cause all this trouble, so they can go and steal the chi. And this, I think, this is the first time that stealing the chi has actually succeeded. Crueler comes to the conclusion, it's like, you know what, my brother keeps failing. I'm gonna try something else. In some ways, this is actually very clever because this is something that a lot of TV shows don't do. It's like we just keep trying the same thing over and over and over again, and then we just finally realizes this isn't working i need to do something else it's actually in some ways kind of nice to see uh you know characters rejecting the flower it's like i hate flowers get away why are you always putting a flower in my face so now she's all of a sudden this isn't working <laughs> this episode yeah is complicated there's a lot going on and there's almost like a couple plots going on at the same time or more likely one after the other first we have the whole you know everyone's fighting with the race and like ah, bah, 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 bah. you know everyone being deceived into fighting each other in the race which was really sad mm. the race is almost immaterial especially with shadow wind there and i must admit at the very beginning of this episode i thought this was a dream it's like i get to raise shadow wind yes then i realized oh my gosh this is actually real so woo, it's like yeah and the crocs try to capture shadow wind because yeah i mean the big thing is that shadow wind is clearly a lot better than they are so he's gonna win like every single race that he appears in so yeah they have a problem i did like at the end of the race that yeah we're gonna have to dispense with the uh, ceremony because uh we got a situation going on down there so uh use it well use it wisely uh bye bye <laughs> oh unfortunately as a computer programmer i kind of know this situation where it's like yeah i would love to talk to you more about this but uh, i've got five other things i gotta do right now so uh bye bye <laughs> definitely have to agree with uh, lavelle's father so it was a sad day in chiba because yeah it was a giant mess and everything is terrible mm. oh my gosh if there was this blatant obvious cheating you would obviously cancel this race and you would do something about it because it's like clearly this is not a fair race things are going on this would be like at a nascar race if a group of people threw like a crate of bricks onto the track it's like obviously you would stop the race race have security deal with those people and if this happened like four or five times you would totally stop this race and probably cancel it all together but of course this is to compete for the golden chi that may not be an option in this situation but really with such blatant cheating i can't imagine that they would let this race keep going on and yeah with the crowd going into chaos yeah, you would call this race and just be like, Ugh. So yes, Lavelle's father was definitely right. This was a very sad day in the world of Chiba. Hmm. 
and it will be interesting to see what happens in the next episode what's going to happen with these races and then the next plot is obviously the wolves and the crocodiles or actually more the wolves and crueler stealing all the chi and avoids you succeeding in doing so <laughs> but first we get yet another lesson in chima history where uh Krailer's and Krieger's father made a pact with the wolves that the wolves will always assist the king of the uh, crocodiles. So, hmm. I'm actually first kind of surprised that the crocodiles did that, but at the same time, you gotta remember that the crocodiles are not really our enemies. It's kind of crueler, that is. And again, this is getting complicated. <laughs> My brain is malfunctioning, and I don't think it's capable of processing this all at once, so. Because, <laughs> yeah, we got introduced to this pact thing, and it's like, oh, we can't help you. Oh, why is that? Oh, we have a pact with the crocodile king. We can't really help you betray him, so. Ugh. I don't think it's really her place to destroy this pack it's not an agreement between her and the wolves it's an agreement between the wolves and the king of the crocodiles which isn't her they succeed in stealing the chi for once unfortunately <laughs> Lavelle and Krager are actually fighting together now Rawr! and I think Krager has legitimately start to realize that oh his sister has been controlling him it's like wait a minute why is it every time you talk you put some stupid flower in my face get that out of here so now again she's in the situation of uh now what do I do <laughs> but she still manages to handle it I'm kind of surprised by her oh there's, again, there's too much going on in this episode. I almost need to do an afterthought review to this episode. Because, yeah, it's like, we had them, you know, obviously steal the chi. Krager is now fighting with Laval instead of against him. Kruler's, in a way, deception is starting to unravel. And she's basically having to do this on her own without her brother. And she's sort of, I think, starting to deal with the fact that she's been betraying and controlling her brother all this time. And so she's starting to develop a conscience uh, so, yo! <laughs> but, in all this time, we still don't know why is Krueler doing this. Most likely, we will find that out in the next episode. So, <laughs> Oh, and the moral dilemma, of course, of do I save the Chi or do I save my former friend? And Lavelle totally made the right call. It does honestly remind me of a scene from an, a uh, Thunderbirds are GO episode. Save one life then save the world. And to also borrow a life of Babylon 5, you know, we'll get over losing Chi. I don't think Krager is going to get over being dead, so... <laughs> so yeah, I think Laval made the right choice. He saved Krager. There's still hope for the left. I mean, after the last episode where Krager basically tried to kill Laval, that was kind of surprising. But, uh, you know, he's still friends. Sort of. All I'm gonna say, based on something that was in Ninjago, that I'm pretty sure that they're not gonna stay enemies forever and they are gonna be friends again. So once again, this has made this a little complicated. But again, Laval totally made the right choice. It's like, we'll get more Chi, but we can't get Krager back. So yeah, that was a good move. I do like Laval's, you know, indecision. I don't think I made the right choice, Dad. It's like, no, son, you totally did. On another but not really important note, we learned that one of the rhinos has a crush on... Eris, which is kind of weird, sort of. Unfortunately, I can't help but think cross-species relationships. I wonder how that works out in this universe, but... <laughs> so Eris was like... <laughs> but it was nice that she did grant him his dying wish, even though he wasn't really dying. Or maybe he was, but, you know, the kiss brought him back to life, so... <laughs> I enjoyed her kind of in frustration slash embarrassment, so it's like, I'm gonna get you for this. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know how to feel about that either. I, I don't think she was deceiving her. I think he really was her, but then the kiss is like, Rrr! it's like, forget she. I just need a kiss from Eris. <laughs> I almost feel like an afterthought review is necessary after this episode because there really was a lot going on and a lot to think about. We were introduced to things right in the middle of this episode that are pretty important, and uh, we had some pretty important character and, you know, larger, bigger picture stuff going on it's like i'm exhausted just thinking about it <laughs> but i guess overall this is a good episode i mean it always makes me sad to see characters fighting especially this way but it was a very clever plot it actually succeeded and i'm not happy about that either but uh in some ways it was kind of good for them to succeed because there is the problem that yeah if they fail all the time then it 
basically gives them no threat. Alright, so I guess overall this was a really good episode, even though it's making my brain hurt. Yeah, there was a lot going on, but there was a lot of cool character stuff going on. And oh, the moral dilemmas, but I like those sometimes. <laughs> So overall, I think this was a good episode, and uh, even though it's very complicated, it's nice to see things changing, both for the good and the bad, but at least things are actually starting to change a little bit, and who knows what's going to happen in the next episode. So definitely things are starting to change, so... Roar! So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong! And Pony on. Blue Star out.